This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? You know the purpose of 1000 km challenge is to show the anti-EV people that electric cars can be sexy and fast. And I wanted to try to make it 1000 kilometers within 10 hours. And this BMW i7, I estimated will do it in 9 hours and 50 minutes. Maybe even faster, we'll see. So yes, we have charged the car to 100% now. We're getting ready. Uh, wait, wait, let me see, let me see. Look at this, look at this. Oh! The Swarovski crystals. Wait. I see moisture in the inside of the headlights. Uh oh, uh oh. In a car that costs two million nook, we have moisture in the headlights. But guess what? This happens with every headlight out there. I've seen it in expensive cars. I've seen it in Tesla. But for some reason, Tesla people, they bitch about this. And BMW people, they be like, whatever. You know, it's gonna buff out, yes. So, well, we can check out the ones we are maybe at the halfway point if the, uh, the headlights have dried out. But yeah, look at this. Do you like this shit? How big is your grill? <laughs> and it's illuminated. Oh yeah, look, look, look. This is a proper limousine. All right, James. Wait. Oh, it always goes slow. Look at that. Huh? Huh? Do you like this shit? Huh? <laughs> okay. And then, okay, let me see. To close the door, this is to open the door. And then to close the door, you have to press this button. Two different buttons for opening and closing the door. That is really counterintuitive. And then this one is always slow to open. Okay, now it's fast. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, welcome to my lounge. Oh, oh yeah. And then you wanna close the door, press the brake. Oh yeah. Okay. And then we, there's a, I don't know where there's a, why there's a start stop button. Yeah, please tell me. Okay. The plan is to go straight to Varberg. Look here, route preview. Huh. The car estimates we will arrive at 17% at Valberg. Oh yeah, we have a 106 kilowatt hour battery. I measured 99 kilowatt hour net capacity. So we should be able to go, go there just fine. I think I will actually start in two minutes. Let's reset everything and then off we go. Bye bye. Let's check out. We have turtle mode. Oh, is this turtle mode? <laughs> the car is neck snapping fast, even in turtle mode. We have two percent left. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm stuck behind a slow speed anyway. Let's plug it in. Oh, we are here. I'm gonna show you something cool. Wait, what the heck? This part dried out, but this part here is still it still has moisture inside. <gasps> okay, wait, 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 wait. okay, okay. Oh no, this time it didn't reboot. Okay, whatever. Every time I come here and charge on this charger, it tends to reboot and then you see American Megatrends BIOS and then it, but now it, it okay. Let me see, will it Colgate? Will it Colgate? <laughs> it absolutely did not Colgate. I preheated for maybe one minute and then I didn't dare to preheat because I arrived with two percent. Oh, look at that speed, oh yeah. 500 amp, oh yeah. Man, I can't get enough of this freaking huge illuminated grill. <laughs> oh shit. What well, dinner for today is salad. Oh yeah. Homemade salad. Remember to ABC always bring salad. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well that's it. We charge from 2% to 53% in 20 minutes. <laughs> yes, we're gonna go now. And then the car estimates that we will arrive at Hansen Bobby 16%, 18% now. I think we will arrive at around 10%. All right, let's go.
We are getting close to uh, Helsingborg. Wow, look at that moon. Oh, full moon, almost full moon. It's like 99% full. But okay, so now we are uh, 25 kilometers away from, uh, well, there was a low battery warning here, yeah. 60 kilometers of range left. Okay, but we are 25 kilometers away from um, Helsingborg. And if you look here, root overview, the car, huh? what the heck, man? <laughs> German software, the car claims that we will arrive with 0%, uh, but if you look here, if you go up here, wait, no, 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 what the heck, content, this one, this one estimates we will arrive with 9%, yeah, that's fine, okay, but I want to go on this one, because now um, the preheating is not active, but I want to fire up manually, just to make sure, uh, why not, we just going to try it, okay, see here, now we can do this preconditioned battery activate manually and then you watch here the consumption should go up and then there should be an icon coming up soon uh, well there isn't i guess it means that the battery is hot enough <laughs> we are now a little bit past the halfway mark and look at the big fat <laughs> I can't get over it, man. And the Schwawurst, Schwa wait, how, how do you pronounce it then? Schwawurstki, right? Something. The crystals, these are real crystals. And also inside we have real diamonds. But this, what? It still hasn't dried out, this one. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. I can see it clearly. But listen, we have birds chirping over here. Oh, spring is finally coming. It, it was so winter-ish here a couple of weeks ago, but now we are fine, we're fine. Okay, let me check out. I came with 8% or 9%, I don't remember. Oh, look at this, oh yeah. So I charged to around 55% last time. This time, I think I need to charge to around 50% only, since we have a little bit of tailwind on the way back. So yeah, quick pit stop here, and then off we go back again. I guess there's nothing else to show you guys here. I've been here so many times before. It's at night now, so we have not look over here, so but whatever, we're fine, we're fine. All right, we're good to go. I need uh, almost 50%. So this is going to be roughly 15 minute journey stop. <laughs> and we are riding on the 190 to 140 kilowatt wave here. All right, hammer time. All right, we are already on the way back. <laughs> that was just a 15 minute charging stop. And we went from 8% to 48% within 15 minutes, huh? So we just ride on the high speed wave at the bottom. But yeah, so you see now um, we hit the five hour mark and we have done 525 kilometers already. Huh? And we still have 44% uh, batteries, we can hammer it. So uh, it's looking good so far. And then the car is just super comfy. Oh man, I just ride on the, oh, ride on the cushion. It's like um, uh, a magic carpet ride. But I have to say, okay, this one and then the EQS, they are kind of rivals, German and everything. But uh, I feel like the EQS is more bold. Here, it's, um, it, it rides better. It, it rides slightly sportier than the, the EQS. But you still have a nice comfort, so you don't feel the bumps too much versus, for example, a Tesla Model S. So um, I actually like the ride on the BMW quite a lot. We are now at Weilbach again. Oh, it's starting to get bright now. Yeah, the days are getting longer now and also warmer, finally. Can't wait to, for spring to come. Look here, wait, 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 focus. You see, I can't decide whether that look here, does that look like a pig or a beaver? 
Hmm. But oh man, these Swarovski crystals. Oh yeah. That is nice. But okay, the condensation is, is uh, pretty much gone on this side. But on this side, we still have condensation. And this is in the inside, you see, it's not in the outside. Oh, uh, okay. But you see, this car does not Colgate. Every time we arrive, even at the first starting session, we don't Colgate. And even the Mercedes EQS Colgate on the first session, even the Fat e-tron with a new battery Colgate on the first session. This one does not Colgate. But it tends to lock and unlock like crazy. <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah, I think this time I'm going to go on a... Well, stop doing that. I think it's... The key is at the right threshold where it triggers the lock unlock. <laughs> All right, we're almost good to go. 25 minute charging stop. 63%. Yeah. Um, this time we will go straight to... No, we will skip Speckeren. We go straight to Strömstad. Yeah, yeah, so that's 224 kilometers. The car estimate 10%. Uh, yeah, I think we'll arrive at 5%. So this was a much needed stop. Only 25 minutes and we are already at 63%. Oh, okay, let's go. Right, this is the last charging session. We're getting, yeah, oh yes. We are not cold gating. <laughs> Maximum speed. Oh yeah, I arrived with 3%. So the last stop, well, actually there's no stop. Now we go for 1000 kilometer. We have this one. Okay, I measured actually, we have no measurement error here. So this is spot on. This is German precision. Uh, so that means we have to drive another 100 and, uh, what is it, 118 kilometers. All right. Uh, oh man, it's a bit busy over here. We have car charging on that side. We have car charging on this side. Oh, let me go to Circle K then. All right. I don't know if you can see anything, but we are charged for 15 minutes and we are good to go. 45%. Uh oh. You see the clock now, 8.29. We have no deductions today. So it means that we are now at the 8 hours and 45 minute mark in one minute. And we have done 886 kilometers. Oh shit, we need to do another 114 kilometers. Fortunately, it's quite clear over here, but hopefully it's also clear all the way to Oslo. So we'll see. Yes, just hunker down and hammer it. All right, let's do the count now. 991. Na 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 two, na 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 three, na 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 four, na 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 five, na 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 six, na 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 seven, na 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 eight, na 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 nine, na 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 nine, one thousand time. 9.27, wait, wait, that means 9 hours and 40 minutes, whoa, wait, 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 wait. I have to check here, I have to recalculate, because um, we now have 13%, I have to calculate how much convenient charge we have, yeah, okay, 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 let's get back to Oslo first, what the consumption, by the way, 278, ooh, okay, not too shabby, all right, we are back in Oslo. So yes, you know the whole convenient uh, charge. I can usually deduct a couple of minutes because we charge extra to get straight home here. But I calculated that we can only deduct around three to four minutes. So it will still put us at the nine hours and 40 minute mark. So if you look at the table, you see that which car in this similar class uh, uh, was, uh, you know, what time? Well, ET7 is similar. It's fairly large. It's sedan. You can't fold the seats. ET7 managed to battery up twice, so that's why the ET7 was actually faster. But ET7 is not really a worthy competitor, is it? Because it's just a premium car, but this is 
proper luxury, this BMW. But okay, um, e-tron GT, uh, yeah, I'm not sure, no, it's more like a GT car. This is a limousine, right? Uh, but I can just tell you that the i i4 m50 during summer had the exact same time <laughs> how is that possible well it has a smaller battery that's one thing but it was actually rapid gating uh, that one supposed to have low coolant so yeah it had problem with overheating and then it charged slow uh, but uh, i guess maybe porsche tyke and cross turismo could match this but somehow the cross turismo also did a 940 even though it charged faster i'm not sure what the heck happened there maybe there were some coal gate going on or something uh, i'm not sure but um okay one worthy competitor is uh, mercedes eqs for some reason the eqs did it in 950 huh 10 minutes slower uh e eqs also had similar temperature as we had today but actually the eqs has a dis disadvantage because it doesn't have heat pump it has heat scavenging so it scavenges heat from the from the electric motors the heat of the cabin but it seems to not be that efficient because eqs in summer is quite efficient but in winter then the eqs struggles with high consumption that's probably why we beat the eqs but not only that but uh, also when i did the recent test with the fat eqs it cold gated initially and then it went quite kind of it went quite fast and actually faster than this one here uh, it can peak at 207 kilowatt, whereas this one peaks at roughly 198. Uh, sometimes maybe it hits 200. But um, the EQS also slightly cold gated towards the end, whereas today with the BMW i7, it was consistent. Every time from the first to the last turning session, bam, 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 nice and flat turning curve, maximum speed as what, what you can expect. Um, and also another thing I noticed is that I didn't have to run the heater too hard because it seems like this car is well insulated. Like even when it was minus two degrees Celsius outside, I felt nice and warm in here. It could maybe be because they have these these heaters on the arm rest, or I don't know if that helps. But um, it, it just felt nice and comfy in here. But I think that's uh, no uh, no um, surprise because you know this car is insulated like a tank. And it's also heavy as a tank, but at least it helps for keeping the coal outside and the heat inside here. So, yeah, um, I think this is actually, well, I, I already said it earlier, right? That the EQS, the fat EQS was the most comfortable car. Well, maybe it was beaten by the i7 because this i7 is comfortable in a different way. The, um, the EQS SUV is spacious, of course, but it also rides like a freaking boat. Whereas this one, I feel like it's way tighter. It, it, it you know, it sits right between the Model S and uh, the EQS. EQS, the regular one, sedan, feels a little bit boat. And then Tesla feels a little bit harsh. Here we have the comfort, but also the firmness and the sportiness. So I actually like the ride here a lot and the whole soundproofing and everything. But I would probably still go for the EQS because it's more practical than this sedan opening here. But okay, but anyway, the test is a test and this car beat the EQS. So that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.